Hey, Ben here. Here's a simple trick you can use to make your um, jazz blues playing a little more authentic. So if you know a little bit about the history of, of the blues and, then, and the jazz blues and how it evolved over the course of the, the 20th century, that can really come out of your playing in some good ways. And here's a simple idea that you can use. So when we um, commonly think about the blues, we think about them as all the chords is basically being dominant seven chords, you know, one dominant, four dominant. If you listen back to old recordings like Louis Armstrong or Benny Goodman, you'll notice that they're really not dominant chords like that. They're more like more like six chords. So the one chord would be like a six chord. You would hold that for the first three measures of the blues. One, two, two, three measures. And then you would go to a dominant chord. And that dominant chord would bring us a four chord, a four dominant. So knowing that, you can bring that into your into your jazz solos in a really nice way, simply by outlining that 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 flat seven in measure four of the blues. So here's one lick, a simple lick that you can use to get you um, from the major six chord to the dominant chord. So a major six chord in F is like this. So the the third A, the root F, and the six D, and then the flat seven of F is here. So we're gonna outline the uh, major six sound, getting us to the flat seven for F seven. Here's another variation on that same idea. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm giving a clinic here on March 12th. I have tons more simple tricks like that that you can use to bring your jazz playing to the next level. So um, yeah, sign up and I hope I'll see you there.